Hey everyone, uh, welcome to my Harm Systems tutorial. Okay, in this tutorial I'll just be going over the fence in and then uh, just the, uh, I'll go over the HAD or the Harm Attack Display, the uh, and then all the native Harm Systems or uh, modes. Okay, so without further ado, uh, I'll show you what the loadout here looks like. Um, you can see on the left uh, front, my nose there, I have the HTS pod, which is necessary to use the harm attack display. Okay, it's essentially a smart RWR, a radar warning receiver. And then uh, I'm loaded for a CAD mission, so two harms. I'm just going after radars, I'm not going act after the actual SAM positions or anything. Okay, so um, show you the fence in here. Uh, so, of course, master arm on. Then air to ground mode, and uh, since you can see on the HUD, since I just have harms, I'm actually in harm mode. I'm not in CCRP or IP or DTOS or anything. Okay, so the SMS page, uh, you can see that two AGM88s are selected, and the power is off. So I'll turn the power on. It comes up with a bit test. It's not functional in the game. Okay, so uh, since I have my HTS pod, I'm going to put my uh, HAD up here. You can see that of the six pages I have selectable, uh, it's not there. So all that I do is replace one of these pages with it. So I want to replace this test page. I click it once to go to the page, and then once again, and you can see I can put any of these pages up here. So uh, I'll put the harm attack display here up. There you go. So the harm attack display has uh, a few things on here. First, these green lines are your flight uh, plan. Okay, S is it's the same symbology as your RWR. S's are search radars. The two is the SA2 out in front of me. Uh, a few other search radars, an unknown radar. This little ball, or I guess bubble, coming off your aircraft here is the harm range. Okay, so you can hit anything within that range. All right. It works basically like the FCR, you just uh, slew uh, over the target you want to hit. So I can, of course, expand. So if I have this SA2, I would just uh, lock that up. And you can see here on my arms, I have the range bar, which should be familiar, uh, and the carrot. So I'm well within this range. And I, have, of course, have the uh, launch authority blinking here. Okay. A um, couple more things about the HUD. You can see I'm at a fairly uh, high altitude, about 25,000. The higher the better with the harms. You get more range out of them. Okay, so um, you know what? That is, <laughs> that's your harm attack display. I mean, there's it, this is an extremely simple uh, way to engage targets here, but uh, I find that it's uh, relatively inaccurate okay so it's not going to be your ideal setup but it works fairly good for uh, CAD missions okay um, one more thing you can see all these uh, are um, yellow okay all these contacts are yellow that means they're uh, they're they have been seen by the HTS but they're not actively emitting okay so if I were Let's go back to the HSD so you can see these threat zones. Okay, so if I were to fly into these zones, uh, they would actively emit and then I'd have more of a chance to actually hit that target. Okay, so that's the way the harm works. On actively emitting radars, it does a better job. Um, so if they were actively emitting, they'd be uh, red. And then if a missile's in the air, they'll be blinking red. Okay. All right, so that's the hat. That's it. Uh, you don't really need to mess around with it too much. Um, and that's all I'm going to go over there. So uh, now I'm going to go over the the native organic uh, harm modes. Okay, so I'll switch this FLCS to the weapons page. Okay, so some of the weapons have their own weapons page. You can see here. Uh, I'll make the weapons page the sensor of interest by DMS down. You can see here you get some different symbology. Okay, you get your uh, asthma steering line, ASL. Okay, you get this box down in the in the bottom here. Okay.
Okay, this box represents the uh, width of the uh, search area for the for the harm. Okay, and then over here, of course, you get your uh, range bracket. Okay, so there are a uh, um, few modes that the harm has. Uh, and the switch modes, you go to here. So I'll explain these. So POS is positional mode, and it has some sub modes in there. Uh, HAS is harm as sensor, which is essentially like the uh, HTS pod or your HAD. Okay, so and then the DL is non-functional, just so you know. But harm as sensor, I click that and I get this uh, this symbology here, and you can see that the uh, actual SAM sites pop up here. So all that I have to do is go over it, select, and I get a change in symbology. Okay. Uh, you can see that the uh, search area on this is much wider. It's 120 degrees in this mode. Okay. Um, and that's it. So I could, uh, if I unpause this, uh, what I'd have to do is uh, find this target here. I'm not getting a uh, launch authority yet. Let's continue flying towards the target until, uh, until this box starts blinking. So uh, this is a f rarely used mode, but uh, it's available to you. Okay, so right now I'm going to show you the mode that uh, I use the most because it's definitely the most accurate. Um, and the way you set up this mode, it begins on your mission planning. You're going to want to set up the radar. Say you're, you want to hit this SA-2, you're going to set up the radar as one of your steer points. Okay, that's the primary way to do it. There is another way you can do this, which I'll show you uh, here in a second. Okay, so back back over here to the weapons page, I'll go ahead and make that the SOI. So you see here I have uh, station numbers here, so three and seven. I can switch between those using the nose wheel steering button on my joystick. Okay, so three is the one on the left, seven is the one on the right. And then uh, you can imagine they have columns here. So any anything above the three associates with the three station. Anything above the seven, seven station. You can see this zero six here. Okay, that's associated with my steer point. So what you're doing in this mode is you're is you're giving it a point on the ground to search around. Okay, so uh, you know, I am on steer point six, which is right below me. You can see that on the HSD, but this is just for. Uh, uh, demonstration here. So say that uh, I had a point set up on this SA-2, I would go select that steer point. And then on the left here of your weapons page, these are actual SAM numbers, okay? So you have SA-2, SA-3, SA-4, 5, 6. If you don't have the correct SAM number here, you can go to the table, click uh, through the table here, and it gives you a number of options, but the most common here on Korea are going to be uh, your SA twos, threes, and uh, fives, I guess. So, uh, but uh, you also have you know, like the SA ten, uh, SA fifteen, and seventeen, uh, which are mobile. So you wouldn't really pre-plan their position. But anyway, so the zero six, say it's an SA two, I'd click on SA two. I get some more uh, information here. I'm actually going to switch my steer point to 7, which is in between all these, so that you can see here. So so this 107 is the uh, time to impact, okay? So uh, about a minute after I fire this thing, it's going to be at the target. Uh, and then this, of course, is your e ETA, so the estimated time of arrival for the missile impact okay and you can see this green line here what it is is before launch is at the bottom here and then after launch is going to be at the top okay so I have this set up for three okay so I can uh, nose wheel steering switch to seven okay say I want to hit an SA3 with the seven I can go to three but if you notice here the steer point is still seven okay now you can't uh, you can't preset up the steer point just so you know you have to select it manually when you switch. Okay, you can see there. Okay, 
but it does remember what type of SAM site you're going after. So this is the, yeah, sorry about this. This is the EOM mode, so equation of motion. This is the most common mode you're probably going to use, most accurate. Um, if you have that steer point set up directly on the uh, on the radar, the harm will fly directly to that point. Okay, so even if it doesn't emit, you have a pretty good chance of uh, actually hitting that target. Okay, and so uh, REK I'll go over in a second. So PB is pre-briefed mode. Okay, this is a longer range, uh, or for longer ranges, but where the target is uh, well known. Okay, so at a steer point again. And you can see that the box here is much larger. Uh, by the way, I can switch between these modes using my pinky switch, which comes in handy. So you can see equation of motion, I get this smaller box, so if it's a 40 degree search area. Um, and then pre-briefed, I get a much larger one, so it's 120 degrees. Pre-briefed, the seeker head turns on 15 nautical miles out from the target. EOM is 5 nautical miles from the target, so much more accurate. And then uh, I'm going to talk about a little hidden hidden gem here. So let's say I'm, on, uh, I'm flying around and some of my friendlies are getting messed up by, oh, let's just say uh, this SA-2 way out here. Okay, so I hadn't planned on hitting that SA-2, so I didn't set up any of my steer points. You know, what am I going to do here? Well, it's pretty simple. As long as you have a threat steer point, you actually do have a steer point to that. And what you do is you go to your HSD. You're going to use your cursor and go up and try to you know, center it over there and TMS up. Okay, you can see my steer point changes to 59 over here. So I can hit that SAM on 59 again. Uh, I might want to go into a wider mode, so maybe pre-briefed mode, because that steer point that I set was just a manual set. It didn't set the exact position on the ground for that SAM. But that's a, that's a really helpful uh, thing I, I learned uh, a little while ago. So, And you can you can select any, any of these SAMs, of course. So that's 58, go over here, 57. 56, you know, you can also select your own steer points, steer point seven, that way. Okay, so one more thing I'll talk about here is um, the HUD symbology for these modes. So I'm on pre-briefed. Uh, you can see my asthma steering line is over here. And you can see on the bottom of this, I have these two lines on it and two carrots, okay? So this is where I want to put my flight path marker. This is the max pull up and max or min pull up here and max pull up here. And then these carrots are generally where you want to put your flight path marker. Okay. Um, you can see here it says R02. So that's telling me you need to go right. Uh, I think it's uh, 20 degrees. So let's, uh, yeah, this is in tens. Okay. So I'm going to unpause that. And then I need to go right. Degrees. Okay. And then what I do to engage is go ahead and nose over, put my flight path marker between here, and then uh, I'd be able to fire. You can see the blinking here. You don't have the bracket in this mode, you just have a line at the top with the 60 above it, which is the range of the harms. Uh, that changes depending on your altitude and speed, but it won't change on your HUD. And you can see the uh, carrot here, and then of course uh, the right. That'll be that'll also turn to left, by the way, if you're right of the asthma steering line. Okay, so the last mode here, really cool mode. Uh, RUK is range unknown. Okay, this is a defensive mode, and uh, what I would suggest is that when you're flying around with two harms on, you have one set up to the target that you think you need to hit first, and then just set your other one as your oh shit. Uh, harm okay so what this mode does is, is basically uh, I'll show you in the next video that you can say you fly over you get like a pop-up Sam or Sam you didn't know was there that uh, launches at you let's say well all that you have to do is find out look around get your head outside the cockpit of course anytime you get shot at by Sam find out where look at 
where the SAM is coming from, point your nose at that SAM and launch your missile. That's all, all you have to do. And that missile will seek the closest or the first radar emitting uh, site that it sees and hit that target. And uh, every time I've used it, it, it works. And uh, it's a really, really great mode that I haven't seen a lot of people use on their on their videos, uh, especially for uh, you know just uh, sea ad missions and stuff. But uh, it is a it is an oh shit uh, setting, okay. But uh, those are all the modes. And uh, in the next video, I'll I'll go ahead and employ a uh, the two uh, main modes that you that you'll be using. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.